I probably should have killed something next to that so I could actually pick up all those items too. But unfortunately, we cannot. So I'm not sure what it... Oh, that's what it wants me to do in here. It wants me to interact with that. I need to save before that just to be on the safe side. Save there. And get that. <laughs> Watch. She's just going to be standing on the wall. Yep. <laughs> oh, Lord. Return to quest board. So we got that. I don't think there's anything else in here we need. So we've cleared out that side quest. Definitely the side quest battles are tough. The normal battles, not so much. Can we actually just leave here? Yeah, we can just boop. Fast travel. Bonk into there. And yes, we will leave the area. Because this place is not going to be very promising for us since we've already completed the task here. Caffeine tastes good. No, I'm not popping caffeine pills. I'm literally drinking something with caffeine in it. Caffeine helps me continue on. And let's us see a night. Kind of wish we could restore that so we could just teleport here. But we do need to go down to the traveling merchant. And sell crap to him. Because that's how we do. I still love that little whoop around that. It cracks me up to no end. I'm going to totally keep those on her forever. And ever and ever. Amen. Okay, so selling stuff. And this is probably just, yeah, value item you can sell. So we're just going to sell those. We're going to sell that. We're going to sell the mundanes here. We're going to sell the longsword, the dagger, the warhammer, yes. Holy symbol we'll keep just in case. That's some crafting materials. Those are probably... How much are those worth? A decent chunk of change. So, yeah, we'll sell the breastplates. Jade pendants can go away. Scale mail. Unidentified potion we'll keep. Yeah, let's just get rid of the junk. And what is that? Chronicles of the Inquisition. That is a quest item. No, we don't want that on us either. Just because we we pick it up does not mean we want it auto-equipped. Especially not if we're going to be selling it. So that's good for you. So conclude with that. Do you have anything to sell on you? Doesn't look like it. We do need to buy a new focus for him because we're going to be taking his off after we get that attuned. That and that can be sold. And nothing to be sold off of you, I don't think. So we do need to buy some potions for you. Let's go ahead and buy three of them. Yeah. Yeah, that costs some money, but it's better than what we were doing. So as far as spells go, do we actually still have flight here? No. We only had the one. Oh, no. We do have... No, we don't have another one. It's sold out. <laughs> okay. So do... that. That's the... A component pouch is the only thing that can be used as a focus here. You... But, well, we do have a potion of flying, so we're going to go ahead and buy that. I guess we, get, we could split a stack of somebody else's potions, because you have three. Having everyone with, like, a potion is not a terrible idea. But, no, we're going to go ahead and keep with what we have now. You don't have, well, you do have potions. You have the healing remedies. That's fine. That'll get someone up off the ground. And as far as you, you do not have a pendant on. But you do need a component pouch, I think, for your spells. I'm going to see. That has a material component. That has a material component. That has a material component. That does not. So shield is the only one that you have that... No, actually, all those are fine as well. 
So if we could get rid of all these and not have a material component, yours pretty much I can guarantee have material components. That's somatic. Yeah, that's material on jump, material on laughter. Okay. So yeah, they do have material component requires. That's why we have component bracers instead. Whereas his, I don't think require components. Well, bless has a material requirement. But apparently we have the materials for it. Oh, I think just because it's a focus. Does that really serve as a material component? Oh yeah, because it substitutes out for uh, basic material components because it's a focus. So you are going to go ahead and give him that. You are going to get that. And this should let you still cast. Yeah, you still have the ability to cast them. That's good. And that means you can equip that. And everybody should be equipped with their magical attuned items. Yes, siree, they are. That is lovely. So everybody's good. Yes? Yes. So we're going to come out here. We're going to go to this board and get our reward. Although I'm not sure we're actually going to have to worry about that very much. Is she just going to climb over the wall? Yup. <laughs> Hi. You really are weird. <laughs> A strange beast, TB. Ah, uh, Caroline Outpost, new six days remaining. Tower of Magic completed. Carolem, new six days remaining. What? Oh. Yeah, we'll take that. So let's see. That's that's good. Uh, Batrum, what do you actually have to say, Batrum? You're someone we can encounter with. Clear skies, friend. Clear skies, deputies. Um, how's business in Kerlem? How's business been since we cleaned up the place? Not bad. Some folks are starting to explore a little further. Though this Sorak attack still has people nervous. Still, there's been no sign of them since. So, we mostly pretend it didn't happen. Huh. Good for you. Okay. So, party gains? None! We actually just gained the uh, poison bolts. Which are going to go on to you. You now have, I think, 15 poison bolts, which is amazeballs. That is really, really good. So you can shoot poison arrows and do a bunch of damage with your heavy crossbow if you can hit shit. So we'll take a short rest here. Mainly because life's going to be horrible if we don't. Because we could get an encounter before we get an actual rest. So roll, roll, roll. Do you have any items we need to attune? Nope. Close that. Definitely save. We're not saving as much today. I need to get back in the habit of saving regularly. Because bad things are going to happen to us if we do not. Exit. Yes. So we are closing in on reaching that level 5 area. We're probably about two-thirds of the way there, if I had to guess. Maybe a little closer. Oh no, we are way over two-thirds. Nice. So 596 more experience to reach the level we're looking for. So we are going to be going way out here. Possible gem location and travel. Start traveling. And as far as our journals, uh, ancient knowledge, we just have to return to a quest board and we'll get some experience. But we're following our intuition to find out where the next stone is. And we probably will gain some more skills. I mean... Not some more skills. Some more s attributes on the crown as we get more stones. So cure wounds, divine favor. I, we're not really using divine favor very much. Hmm. Hmm. 
No free hand. That one... He has a spell focus on, does he not? Oh, we didn't equip it on him. There you go, good sir. So let's see. Divine favor we're going to go for... Protection versus gold and good and evil. Yeah. Just in case. I think it it's concentration. Though. Yeah, it's concentration. I don't want so many concentration spells. We already have Shield of Faith and Bless as concentration. Bane is concentration. I just want not concentration. But it apparently wants everything to be concentration. <laughs> so I guess we do just go protection from good and evil. Validate. You have way more options just instant casts. Silence is a concentration. So is hold person. Hmm. What is the save on that? Saving throw constitution lasts a minute. So ten rounds. Inflict wounds is just extremely high damage. I think we're going to go like that. But Detect Magic is so useful. How much healing is that? 2d8? And it's not spread. It just heals them all. And that's 1d8 plus healing. I think we're going to go for Prayer of Healing. And go with Inflict Wounds. So you can be a bit more offensive. Just have those options for like... If you're melee, do the bigger hit. If you're far away, do... A little bit more calm things. Starts a discussion about deities and religions. Oh no! Oh, we got surprise. Oh, an orc war party. I have not encountered orcs yet, so I don't know if they're strong. Uh, I, I think they're going to be about as strong as us. Surprise roll results. We're all surprised! So, yeah, I have a feeling we're going to have archer and warrior, if I had to guess. Hopefully it's nothing too scary. Yeah, I don't want to be scared. Yeah, it's not fun. I'm not actually easily scared. So, fairly decent initiative rolls. Not great, but decent. Close that. Ah! Oh, ouch! Okay, so they're all surprised. So we're going to get fairly decent damage against us. Uh, plus threes on their rolls. Okay, so they're just rolling high. That's fine. Uh, the archer I'm not as worried about. So you got big orc. Okay. Second swing goes a miss. Swing and a miss. Bada, 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 bada. Okay, so unfortunately Gray got last go. So we want to just beat the living hell out of this guy. So stabby, stabby. I train not great AC on them, so they're 15 will hit. Nine will not. So we we're aiming for 15s. Action surge, stabby stabby again. Yeah. Come on. Okay, so it's sometimes between 10 and 15. Yeah, we can do better if we stop rolling low. Okay, so that was a miss. Okay. So what spells do you have that are actually semi-useful here? Ah, uh, nothing too great. Wait a minute. You can't use... Oh, I guess... No, you have material. I thought you had more spells than that. <coughs> I mean, you have Identify and stuff. I guess we can't cast them in battle because they take a minute. And each round of battle is six seconds. So that's a Wisdom Throw. I believe our Wisdom Modifier is... Something like 15 or something like that. It's not great. It's not terrible. Cannot take reactions. Has minus two. Okay. And I don't think... Oh, it's just a melee hit to actually get it going. Hmm. Let's go ahead and just psychic you. There you go. Oh, you failed, but that's fine. Let's see, can we get... Yeah, that doesn't even give you half cover on the other side against him. There you go. Ooh, sneak attack. Sweet. Nice sneak attack damage. 
and turn. Now they're rolling low, just like us. Yeah, you can keep attacking me like that. Rec oh, this is a Berserker. Okay. Well, players don't have access to Berserkers. These guys do. Reckless is not what I wanted to see there. Normie's at least tanking fairly well. Let's see. What's the best location? There really isn't one. I think we are actually going to run up and try Inflict Wounds. And I think, if I remember correctly, Inflict Wounds gains one more die. So 4d10 at level 2. As opposed to the this, which is going to be 3d6. No, it's going to be 6d6 if we actually hit with all three of them. Hmm... I think we'll back off and actually do the firebolt thing. So cast spell. Scorching ray. One, two, three. Go for it. Damn. Only one hit. Wow. You are a disappointment. Not really, but still. Enter in there. So Grayson. Ah. Uh, Go ahead and use your bonus skill to get your armor up. Yourself. Shielded by faith. Abort that, because you can't actually cast a spell. Yes, he's in melee range, but it's fine. Nice Next miss time. there, my friend. Seven. So we have advantage because he's reckless. So that gives us two dice instead of one. Go so on. we might be able to take him down. I think it's going to be an orc berserker. He did. So you're going to start moving up this way towards the archer. Hi, friend. How are you doing? And now we can do ranged against them. Let's see. Yeah, run up. And I think we actually want to be casting the daggers, because these guys will probably fail their wisdom throws more than we will succeed at our hits, because they have a plus zero to it. So, yeah, they'd have to roll high to actually not take damage from Psychic. So how's it going over here, friend? Are you ready to feel the pain? Boop. Hit, hit, hit. Oh, critical miss on a level two guiding bolt. No. So let's see. You are going to dash at this guy. We're going to have three against this one over here. And we're going to have, basically, Normie take out the other one. Because Normie does so much more damage. As long as he doesn't roll super low, he can just wreck things' faces. Boom. A palpable hit. And turn. Uh. Oh, that was a crit. Ouch. Oh, he's trying to run away. Are you sure you want to do that, my friend? We have the halfling with dual daggers here to just, like, jump and stab you. I would have thought he would have backed off as an archer. Again. Down for you. And you're just going to end turn. There's the other orc. Ow. Oh, he has a club? Yep, attack. <clears throat> Attack of opportunity. He thought he'd get away. He did not. Oh, wow. That's a lot of arrows on him. Got some silver coins. some An orc short bow. We haven't seen one of those before. But it's probably garbage. Just saying. Because it doesn't look like it says any like damage or info on it. 
No, 1d6 for an orc mace, and it's going to be... Can we not use that? We can. Oh, there it goes. No, it really doesn't say... The deuce. It doesn't say how much damage it does. But that's fine. We do need to grab that. Because that's going to probably be our big loot. An orc great axe. Some chain mail. Some copper. Some gold. Rations. And then we have that little bit of loot over here. It's all spread out because the enemies were all spread out as well. Ooh, and he got a shiny on him. Sweet. So you are good. Shiny goes on you because you need gems. Same for all the ingredients we get. And the rations go on you. And we have an unidentified potion. I should probably cast the uh, identify on that right now. So switch over to that. Cast spell. Aduntify. That potion. What do it do? We do not know. What is it? Potion of speed. So basically it casts haste on us. <laughs> if I if I remember correctly. It's either going to be that or it's going to give us um, movement distance. That is, yeah, just cast haste. That's not bad. Haste is not a bad thing. It's just... I don't really have a high need for haste. So that's just chainmail. So orc great axe. It's just a 1d12. Two-handed heavy weapon. We also have crossbow bolts for you. Because you don't do a lot of crossbowing. You're just going to hold on to it. I think that is everything we need in here. Just sort out the stuff that we don't need to be using. So regular arrows go there. Let's go ahead and actually set up some crafting. We need poisonous bolts or poisonous bolts. Why do we have two? Oh, we that's a D8 poison and that's a D4 poison. Why is the D8 one lower? Creates five. Poison arrows are a... They apply poison, I think. So, deflect a poison on a successful hit. These make... These particular arrows use Merrick's Torpor. Oh, so that one puts them asleep. Whereas the regular poisonous arrows we don't have all the stuff for because we need Troll Acanthus. Okay. So we can't make normal poisonous arrows. We can make... I'm wagering this makes basically poisoned and that makes, yeah, dark stab poison. So it's different types of poison on them. Interesting. We can apply poison to weapons as well. But I think we'll be we'll just stick with that for now. We we don't really need to be crafting that much stuff. I don't think. I mean, we don't have the stuff for the potions, do we? We do have stuff for potions. So you can craft a potion. You can craft a potion. You can craft poison stuff if we need to. We did just use up the last of our magnesium, though. Let's go ahead and craft five more bolts. And you know how to craft magic items. And you also know how to craft normal arrows and bolts. Ah, uh, Let's go for bolts. So everybody's crafting something right now, yes? Yes, they are. So we go ahead and do our long rest. And get moving forward. Yes, we want to continue our long rest. Our long rest is not bad. It's very chill. Hey, we're getting tons of angry violets. 
So we've got a long journey out here. Mm, we're good with our spells. Resume. This looks like it's going to be something as well later. Hey, we got another potion of healing. Normie writes a letter to goddess. Goodness knows who. Uh, close and resume. Hey, we got Gavion Amaranth. So we got some more Amaranth. We need to find some Magnesium. We got... Oh, wow. Messai Evangelist. So we've got two Acolytes, which we've actually already fought, and an unknown creature. Oh, no. That is not a good roll. We got one surprise and three asleep. That means they're going to be prone. Oh, no. Oh, no. So he was surprised, so he doesn't even get a first round. No longer asleep, because you just got whacked in the head with Chill Touch. Oh, unknown creature attacks with disadvantage. So that one does not have night vision. Ha 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 ha! Okay, so that at least is an advantage on our end. Uh, let's see. Cast spell. Let's go for a, a magic missile. Acolytes are pretty easy to kill. The unknown creature is not. So let's take out the Acolytes. Just because we can. Victory is mine. Take one down. Action Surge. Shoot him with the longbow. And miss. And turn on you. You're awake. You used up half your movement to get up. Which sucks. Use power. Channel divinity on that one. And charge this way. What are you doing? Oh, you're healing yourself. Awesome, Sauce. It's better than nothing. Uh, deck save versus Sacred Flame. We just don't take any damage from that because, yeah. So, let's see. Nine life. Oh, wait. That. No, unknown creature is still alive. Unknown is at 15. So, here's another magic missile for you. Watch them just sleep through the entire thing. Oh! Oh, it cast shield. It used its reaction. So, yeah, we're going to keep coming for you. We're splitting up, but we are ready for this. Bash it. Smite it. Bop it. Twist it. They're just going to literally sleep through it all. That is awesome. What do you... Oh, what did you just try to... You tried to cast Chill Touch? Chill Touch is melee, you guys. It doesn't help you. So, Thunder Wave. Like that. Oh, you saved from being pushed. Okay. End turn. That did put out the fire, though. <laughs> yeah, our people are literally just sleeping through everything. It's like, what? Why? Let's see. Cast spell. Do we do Bane or Bless? I think we do Bless. Cast it on everybody down here. And you get to keep moving forward. And that's just going to save them versus saving throws if they do any kind of spells that I can counter with that. Checking DC rolls with advantage. You failed? Oh no! 
You tried to tell that they were trying to heal. That's awesome. That was not a bad roll, though. You only just have a you only have a plus one into though. Death claims you. Evil priest, your knowledge has increased. Oh, we got a little bit, and they're still asleep down there. Just like nah, we don't care. And that's all the loot from up there. Let's go ahead and grab this loot down here. They're still asleep. It's great. Oh goodness. It's kind of funny it only took two of us to wipe out the three of them, though. We don't need to awaken them. Hey, we got some more uh, troll stuff. That's cool. Continue the long rest. <laughs> don't even bother waking them up. It's okay. <laughs> okay, prepare spells. Yeah, I think we're still good with yours. And you are going to be... Yeah, we're still fine with those. We only have two concentration on you. Well, three, if you count detect magic. But we have we, we need to start using detect magic in dungeons. Detect magic would actually help us there. Writes a chapter in a personal journal. Cool. Close that. Let's go ahead and stop in here. Check on any kind of crafting that we want to do. Yeah, we still need more magnesium for you, but we could actually craft some poisons. We need blood of Solasta. Because I actually want to make white burn rather than the other stuff. Poisonous arrows are tempting, but that doesn't do extra damage. These do. So your crafting bonus on those is plus seven. Yeah, let's go ahead and make some of the good, good poison arrows. Start crafting. And there we go. We are ready. Resume. We bought, got some blood daffodils. Hey, Plumot's actually doing really good on crafting that uh, deep pain poisoned arrow. How are we looking on... Yeah, we have 62 units of food. That is a long journey around. I'm kind of surprised they didn't go through this valley here. Yay, you've got poison arrows. They're going to be like just sitting there on our too good to use list for a while, but it's fine. And no, these little pop-ups are not necessary. It's just a setting I switch to for our movement so I can actually change my spells while I'm on the overworld. Because if you're walking around, it's going to end up kind of kicking in the butt. Resume! They're thinking about going in. They're just like circling the possible gem location. It kind of sucks. Resume. Go in. There you go. They did that at the other stop, too. Allows you to use dexterity as the main ability score for the attack. If it's better than strength, check the finesse tag. Yay! Yes, we do have finesse weapons on our high dex fighter. I love finesse weapons. Because dex is what determines whether you can hit. <laughs> So having high dex is good, and then basing everything off of dex, even better. So let's see. We need to be cautious in here, so let's go ahead and actually be cautious. Because this place is going to be dangerous. And we are going to be way low level for it. So there is something over there. Go ahead and knock over the tree if you can, my good sir. You're our strength. Go across. You switch back to sword and shield. You're on swords. You are on crossbow. That's actually kind of where we want them. Check in there. Uh, food. We've got a farewell letter. Can actually read that, I think.
If this is found, please forward to my wife, L. Address is at the bottom. L, for 30 years, I was promised to come back safely to you. This time, I'm going to be late. Uh, it was a spectacular battle, but the beast was better than my sword. I will light the fire and wait by the door until you get here. Love, Jay. Why does that sound familiar? That sounds like... Oh, crap. Now I'm going to have to sit here and try and think of what story that reminds me of. Mm -hmm.